Hoi everyone, this is Fortnan from Super User Projectile. Today I have two versions of Windows 10. The one over here is the latest one. Well, not the latest one, but pretty much. They're pretty much the same. The latest one didn't really add much. I was going to update it, that's why it says this up here, but I was having some issues updating it. So we will just use this. And then this one is the original Windows 10 that came out about seven years ago. So it definitely looks quite a bit different. We are going to be comparing the differences. Also, this older one seems to perform better. And we are going to talk about just various things about the older versions of Windows 10. Let's get right to it. So these may not run at the best speed because they are both being run in VirtualBox, which is a virtual machine software, and so they're basically just both on the host computer, which is my regular Windows computer, and the graphics aren't that good because I have integrated graphics, so it may not be the best but let's get into the comparison. So first of all, I would like to mention that Windows 10 has been getting lots of updates. The previous versions of Windows, like take Windows 7 or Windows XP for example, they got some service packs, they didn't really change anything too drastically, but they did maybe add some new features and stuff depending on the operating system in question, but basically they they stayed the same and Windows 10 has gotten lots of updates. So if we close out of these, we can get into the testing. So first of all, the most obvious change is, well, the wallpaper. So the left wallpaper is the older one and then they put a lighter one later on. So obviously that's the most obvious change on the desktop, but also on the original one there is no Microsoft Edge icon. The search box looks a little bit different. There is no Cortana icon. The task view icon also looks different. The Edge icon is different. Even the file explorer I think is a little different. The Microsoft Store icon is different. And there is no Windows Mail pinned to the taskbar by default. Now over here, we have, this is the Action Center icon here versus right here. So it's in a different location and it looks a little bit different. Now of course this one has a notification. Now if we go into the start menus, there are quite a few changes. So let's go into them on both. Now this one, I don't have the default pins here because I, well, I removed them and then I wanted to add them back and I didn't know exactly which ones are on here, but there's a bunch of stuff pinned here. Then over here we have some other changes So See, we have the app list right here and then we have the most used here instead if you want to to go to the apps list to do all apps and you can see them all right here so we also have file explorer right here and on this one we have documents pictures and then we have the settings on both and then the power on both so the start menus look quite different oh and then the user is up here on this one they look quite different, but pretty much the same things. So let's get into some other differences. So this is a fresh boot on both. So File Explorer, this one opened up quicker for sure. They're both running from the same drive. Let's try that again. Now, that, that was about the same, quicker this time, because it's kind of cached a little bit. Now let's... So this is a different version of Edge right here. This is what they both look like right here. This one, some websites appear a little bit broken. 
Definitely not a super great version of Edge, the newer one is so much better. The old version of Edge I don't think was really a good browser, but the new one can't be. Although you can of course install whatever browser you want on both of them, I just wanted to show you the pre-installed versions right here. Now this is not necessarily the pre-installed version, it's just the latest version. Now some of the icons have changed in Windows 10, such as the Microsoft Store. They've gotten the newer design and the Microsoft Store icon has changed more than once. It's changed at least twice, maybe even more though. I'm noticing the font is a little bit different right here. This one is smaller as well. Yeah, these, the display scaling is the same, so a little bit different and smaller on the newer one. Now, if we go into the settings, we can see quite a bit of difference right here as well. We can see this one, we have the account up here. This one looks a little different. Let's go into one of the panes right here. And we can see this looks different for sure. So things have been gradual, but it has changed quite a bit if you look back at it. Of course, it, it's still pretty familiar. It's just these things in previous Windows versions, they didn't really change, you know, part way through a version or whatever. If we look at some of the other apps, we can see, well, the icons are different for one, like I was mentioning, like calculator, calendar, camera, Cortana. And they also, they used to have these background, they do not now. So I hope you enjoyed this look back at the original Windows 10. And it's interesting to see how far we've come in this operating system, even though it's still Windows 10. So if you enjoyed this video, make sure to leave a like. If you haven't subscribed, consider subscribing. We will see you in the next video.